Hi, in this video, I will demonstrate the interference phenomenon known as BITS. This is a free audio software called Audacity, where I generated two 10 second long tracks. They sound quite similar to each other. But now, try listening to both at the same time. This is the interference effect called beats. It happens when two waves, or oscillations, of slightly different frequencies interfere. You can see it better when I zoom in. You see that at the beginning, the two waves begin in phase. They are oscillating together. But over time, about 0.5 seconds in this case, they go out of phase. Meaning, when the sound wave in the top track is going up, the sound wave in the bottom track is going down. This happens because the sound in these two tracks are ever so slightly at different frequencies. The top track is at 220 Hz, and the bottom track is at 221 Hz. While very few people can notice that difference when you listen to them individually, When you listen to them together, you hear that wobbling sound. You can see this visually when I mix and render these two tracks into one track. Mix and render does what we said the superposition principle does. The combined effect of these two waves is a simple addition of individual effects of each wave. So where we had two out-of-phase oscillations interfering destructively, we have the amplitude of the combined wave going to zero. And as the waves come back in phase, the amplitude goes up. That's it. Uh, we won't do as much with the beat as with the standing wave, but for those of you interested in application of wave interference to music, for example, this is just as important as a standing wave. This, for example, is how a piano tuner can tune a piano by using nothing more than a tuning fork and their ear, listening for this beat. Bye.